Yes, you know Alvarado, he, he was a very complex person. He, he tried to, to combine individualism and society. He, he tried to combine technology and nature. Uh, in a way, he was a great humanist, but he was also a, a critical man. He, he was not, he, he, he did not trust in our society, the tech, technocratical society nowadays. Wood was his normal surrounding when he was a child. When he get out, got out, he was in the middle of the forest. So wood was very, very normal. The old people, they, they did any, anything from wood. It, uh, wood was the, maybe the, uh, the, the nearest material uh, the people had. The, the small houses were built of wood and, and they used wood, uh, wood in uh, heating. People liked the forest. That's, that's his background, so to say. That's quite normal in Finland, but, but maybe not so normal here. Uh, I think he has quite much to teach us uh, because he was aware of the, the, the forces of the nature and also uh, the, the conflicts between the, the technological society and nature. He was very aware of the conflicts. In all of his works, he, he tried to, to have the, the, the naturalness as a principle. And, and also he, he tried to build in time, using time. He, uh, uh, he said that buildings should, should have a, their patina. Uh, they, are, they, are, uh, they are old. When they are old, they have their patina and, and that, that, that gives a certain, certain pondus. The shadow is not very fruitful for the young designers. It's too, uh, too strong, so to say. But, but on, the, on the other hand, they can, if they can come over this jealousy, so to say, and to, to build on Arthur's heritage, then the shadow is very fruitful.